The national operator for the Young Reporters for the Environment, Rosemary Balami, has urged individuals and stakeholders to put in their efforts to achieve climate action. According to her, the whole world has been affected by the effects of climate change, which is also having an effect on daily activities. Hence, there should be collective action to achieve these goals. She said this when the Young Reporters for the Environment at the Center for Sustainable Transformation organized an Empowering Change Climate Action and Volunteerism Seminar on October 7, 2023 at CES Premises. Climate change is happening and we are all feeling the brunt of it. I mean, climate change is a global phenomenon. Global means that it's not a Ghana issue, it's not a US issue, it's not a Canada or European issue. No, 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 no. We are all feeling it. And so everyone needs to get involved. I always say, I have this in my quote, environmental crisis is a collective act. And so its alleviation must also be a collective responsibility. We can't do this alone. Everyone has to be on board. Every stakeholder must play their role to make sure that we achieve um, or we um, win the fight against climate change. Also, the co-founder for the Center for Sustainable Transformation, Hildo Poku, advised that there should be more tree planting activities, lawns among others, in our environment in order to absorb most of the rainwater and reduce the amount of flooding it causes during rain. When it comes to the flooding part, um, again, one of the things uh, that needs to be done is planning, good, pl good city planning. Today, people build their houses everywhere where water is supposed to go, and uh, like Rose also mentioned, that uh, waste is being put in the gutters and all that. But one of the important things in cities and communities where you live is actually the tree planting. Having small or larger, for that sake, uh, public spaces that also have have uh, trees and green areas that can absorb the rain, so not all the rain comes into the streets and uh, doesn't have a way have anywhere to go. Speaking during the seminar, the head of communication at the Center for Sustainable Transformation, Emmanuel Ackerman urge the youth to utilize social media to advance the advocacy of climate change action in Ghana. You are reporting on something that is happening in your community and it is not getting the recognition that it needs. Social media becomes a very effective tool because then you have a network of people who share your interest. Like I said, real-time updates of what's happened during the last trains, we are resharing it. So if you're someone, for instance, you have uh, a thousand followers on uh, Twitter, and then you posted a video that has only gotten five views. And then someone else who is also interested or also passionate about the environment reshares it. And in this case, the person has over 10,000 followers. And now because of that person amplifying what you said or what you shared on your page, now you have gotten the attention of over 10,000 people. So basically, that's one of the advantages that um, it presents as regards citizen journalism. Reporting for Young Reporters Environment from Cantonment says premises for Stina